This is a story about honesty and telling the truth. I hope you enjoyed as much as I do. It's titled Eli's Lieometer, a story about telling the truth. And it's written by Sandra Levins and illustrated by Jeff Ebler. When Eli grows up, he wants to fly. He loves airplanes and rockets. He creates colorful drawings of spaceships, which his mother frames and hangs in her office. Sometimes he wears swimming goggles and pretends to be the pilot of a fighter jet. He logs hours of flight time with his co-pilot, Duffy. Eli's first mate and best friend, Colton, travel through the galaxy on a customized space shuttle. They are strong and brave, and they always make it home in time for dinner. But Eli has a problem. The problem started when the mailman delivered the super deluxe lieometer. It looks like a regular clock, but whenever someone stretches the facts a bit, lights flash, dials spin, and out spits a ticket that shows the level of truth. Buzz. Eli knows the difference between pretending and the real facts. Pretending is what he does when he orbits the Earth or battles sea monsters, and the real facts are what actually happen. But sometimes, telling the real facts can be hard for Eli. And now that the liometer is in the house, his problems have just supersized. The liometer can detect a fib, lie, big lie, giant lie, or whopper, which is another word for a super duper lie. On Monday, when Dad asked Eli to pick up the building blocks that were scattered on the floor, he immediately replied, oh, Madison played with them last. Lights flashed, the spinner whirled, and out shot a fib ticket. Whirl? On Tuesday at bedtime, Mom asked Eli if he brushed his teeth. He said, yes. The liometer puckered up and sputtered a lie ticket stuck out like a tongue. Friday morning, Mom was packing up cupcakes from Addison's preschool class. Did someone eat one of these cupcakes? I'm sure I had 12. Madison shrugged. Eli wiped crumbs off his mouth. Well, not me. The liometer clicked and sighed. Mom picked a ticket up off the floor. Looks like a big lie to me, Eli, she said. Boy, I hope these tickets are recyclable. We're getting quite a pile of them. After that, Eli felt mad. He was sorry he sneaked the cupcake in the first place, unhappy that he lied, and disappointed that he wouldn't get a cupcake after dinner like the rest of the family. Oh, stupid liometer. On Saturday, Eli and Colton were tossing a football in the living room. Eli knew full well he wasn't supposed to play catch in the house, but Mom was in her office, so who would know? Until crash, Mom called out, What happened, Eli? Uh, Duffy knocked the lamp over. Oh, no, said Mom. Duffy, I love you to pieces, but you need to stay outdoors from now on. At first, Eli was happy that his keep me out of trouble lie seemed to work. But wow, what a whopper. He couldn't believe the liometer didn't catch it. That night, he missed Duffy at the foot of his bed. In the morning, Eli finds Mom and Dad in the kitchen. Mom, Dad, about the lamp. And he tells them the facts as they really happened. 
The liometer nearly explodes as the spinner hits the truth mark and churns out a big, oversized truth ticket. Mom picks up the truth ticket and finds these words printed on the back. She reads out loud. Abracadabra, hocus pocus, make the truth this family's focus. The liometer makes a terrible grinding noise. A siren blares, lights flash, and the entire face of the meter spins round and round. With a final kerplunk, the commotion stops. Eli inches closer. Wow, exclaims Eli. The meter changed. How did it do that? <laughs> Beats me, but I like that truth idea, and I don't think we need a meter for that, Mom says. Mom winks and opens the porch door. Duffy scampers back into the house. Oh, I'm so glad that Eli learned the value of telling the truth. Do you ever tell a get out of trouble fib or stretch the truth so you won't take the blame? I like this story, Eli's Liometer. It's a wonderful reminder that honesty is always the best policy. All right, until next time, adios amigos, goodbye.